Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Seven Days to Die. And this is day seven of my Seven Days to Build a Horde Base series. We finished up the Horde Base last night. Did a pretty darn good job. I think we're uh, in good shape. The reason I'm starting so early is I actually forgot to hit capture around the four o'clock uh, mark. And so I missed a little bit until this, which is obviously 417. It's the Hawaiian shirt guy. I guess he's called a tourist. Anyway, he figured out uh, how to get through my wall. Uh, he, he, the, these zombies actually don't show up on Horde Night, so I don't have to worry about the only zombie that can actually get through the impenetrable slip and slide base wall is this guy. Or at least I, I, he's the only one so far has done it. And the only one I've seen, I've seen dogs and bears. Bears maybe have a stand a better chance. But uh, those guys don't come around on Horde Night. Dogs do, but bears don't. So i got to kill this guy, and I've got to get back into the base. There we go, stab him in the butt. Uh, i got to get back in the base and reinforce it, it looks like. Just in case we uh, run into this problem again and again and again down the road, like a wandering uh, tourist guy horde, which actually has happened. Anyway, yeah, so there, there we have it. Now let's get going. Okay, the hole in the wall is repaired. What do we have left to do? Looks like there's this corner piece that's all that's left. There's a little bit of a horde, wandering horde out there. They're really, they have no idea what's going on. So we're just going to ignore them if they ignore us, right? So let's see, let's fix this little corner piece. And then once the corner piece is done, that should be everything. I don't know that we will be able to upgrade this quite yet to cobblestone. That would be wonderful. I know that I have a lot of cobblestone, but this is a tremendous amount of cobblestone. So probably 2,000 cobblestone, maybe sitting on 100 here and probably some inside. So let's just clean up around the outside here um, just to make things look pretty. Because, of course, it wouldn't be a nice horde base without making look, things look pretty. And then uh, we may do some looting. Let's see. Well, it sounds like I uh, woke up a zombie. Oh, it's a biker zombie. Wow, these are pretty heavy-duty zombies coming through. I'm not gonna. Fu I'm not gonna fight this guy on the ground here. That's stupid, because uh, he aggro's and comes running at you. And I don't like that. In fact, I'm just gonna go upstairs, work on the base, and we'll shoot down from above when I'm ready to uh, to fight that guy. Well, there we are. Most of the railing is up. Let's uh, let's have the biker zombie help us test the base to see if it will uh, withstand his power and might. So far, he's not swinging at the wall. He's just jumping up and down. So I'm guessing it's working. And look, I'm I'm safe up here. Not a problem whatsoever. Not going to get to me. Cops would, vultures would, but not this guy. All right, let's see if we can kill him, even though I'm using stone arrows, which will take forever. Alright, that's complete. This base is covered 
around the top area with a railing that I can run around on and shoot down on the zombies during the horde night. That'll be delightful. Be good. It's a nice place to be. Better eat something, and I say we go raiding the building across the street. Uh, there isn't a whole lot over there, but uh, maybe I can... I've already found a couple of things in the lower the, like, level, but maybe there's something in the higher level. Some sort of uh, good loot or something like that. Oh, how, who did I wake up? Ready or not, zombies, here I come. With my badass little spear. Like I said, I've already raided some of this. Not all of it. Maybe we can get... Uh, wake the zombies. Yeah, there's someone in there. Maybe we can wake them up. We can fight them. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go, but one way or another, we're gonna we're gonna work these guys over. Well, so far it's just terrible loot. Ooh, there's a ladder. Let's go up the ladder. Maybe there's something up on the roof here. Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that was smart. Just, just jump. Oh, man, I gotta cut those trees down. I couldn't see what was going on. And it broke my leg. Day seven, broken leg. And now I gotta limp. It's hard to get over the wall. Oh, man, this is terrible. I gotta get a splint. Okay, come on. Creep up over the wall, mister. Yeah, I can barely do it. Alright, I gotta heal up and then uh, probably go back. Is there a dead zombie over there? Weird. Alright, I got myself a splint a little bit ago. Went round and chopped down all the trees behind this building so I can actually see what's up here. After breaking my leg, jumping from the highest heights, I can still barely jump, but... Uh, now I can at least see there was a tree sort of blocking this way. Anything up here? No, so far. Crap. Yeah, I remember there was a tree just kind of waving in this area. Anything in here? We've already actually searched this. This is, uh, we gotta go upstairs and see. On the roof. Up this, the fateful ladder, the broken leg ladder. Yeah, I just went left last time. Alright, what do we have? Empty box. Great, empty box. Egg? No egg. Oh, man. Okay, so it really wasn't worth coming up here. This place is terrible. Okay, there's a, a... What, a gym bag or something over here? Come on, gym bag. Be good. Water and an empty jar. Okay, this, uh... Yeah, this is not proving good for me. Let me just jump down and break my ankle one more time. I, I gotta find some other place to loot. Well, I ran around to the other buildings, sort of nearby, the broken down buildings, and found squat. Crap. Nothing. A bunch of empty jars, water, and um, empty cans. That's it. One of the neighbors stopped by to test out the walls, and I thought I'd uh, shoot down on them just to, you know, for fun. But I'm not a good shot, so not much I can do there. I think it's time to really focus on the base and then get uh, get really ready for the Horde Knight. Make some torches. I do all, you know, all the basic stuff you need to do to get the base ready for the battle uh, ahead and into the next day. So, let's get to it. Last torch, and we are just minutes away. I don't know if we're ready for this, actually. I feel, I, I kind of feel antsy, feeling like we're not quite ready. Put a little light here. Yeah, I feel like maybe I need some more light out front here somehow. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's going to start now. All right, what, what do we, I, I wanted to upgrade a lot more stuff. I just guess I got caught off guard. Wasn't prepared. Here they come. Zippy zombies. Let's see how I do with the bow here. I got to make some junk turret ammo. Let's just do that now. It's, it's how I'm prepared I am for this. 
All right, they're all going for the, uh, what appears to be the sort of easiest spot. Wait a minute. Hey, uh, hey. Right. Oh, <laughs> get her. Whoa, holy cow. Uh, my three high wall is not working here. Uh, oops. Okay, so run them around. I can get back up. Oh, shoot. So three high is just not gonna, not gonna cover. It's gonna have to be, yeah, see, he's getting back up again and beating on it. Stop beating on my... On the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some maintenance here. Damn it! All right, slip and slide base works, sort of. But uh, once you've got this little area, once they can sort of stack up on themselves, you gotta run them around. They can get up on top. Oh, huh? that's good information. They're not really beating the crap out of me too much. I think if I put a junk turret ammo, junk turret ammo, put a junk turret down, we might be able to take these guys out. Uh, boy, I've got... Like I said, I think I was unprepared for this. I really have a lot of work to do. Yeah, that should slow them down. Now they're going to have to fall back down. They could break right through those. That's all of my uh, wood frames. Let's upgrade them real quick. That should slow them down. They, and they won't break through. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get this done. And start shooting back down. I think I need to get this junk turret up. Uh pretty quickly here. There you are, Junkie. Just to jump through it. And then I'll put it up top here. All right. Reload. Yeah, now they seem to be calm. Yeah, because uh, now, now they're not being aggroed by anything. I'm not shooting at them. Oops. <laughs> I'm <sh> <laughs> uh, just using the jump turret as its own little uh, gun. There we go. Don't fear it to the rescue. Nice. Alright. Well, that's shooting down. We got our bow here. And hopefully do a little bit of damage as well. I'm sort of scrambling. I, I really don't know what to do. I feel like I have everything I need and just not, not with it. Don't fear it's doing all the work here though for me. Yeah, come on now. Bring it on down. Here comes another one. Alright, it's 2300 hours. Not even midnight yet. Leveled up. Yay! This isn't too horrible of a horde night. Once I once I fixed my mistake of the wall there. Oh, the junk turret's out already. Ah, that's good enough. We softened them up pretty well. I think we can uh I think we can finish it from here on out. Right? It's only a few zombies. Put some uh, iron arrows into them. And just keep rolling. Appears to be the last three zombies of this horde night, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Junk turret tur certainly took care of the first group. I figured that was be a little bit more sporting to fight off the rest with a bow because my bow's going to be so terrible. But uh, this base holds up pretty darn well, considering uh, I had to put a wall up because they were stacking on top of each other, getting to me. That's uh, it's a learning lesson. That's why you do these things, and that's why you record it. Make sure you don't. Screw it up the next time around. Oh, I just shot her leg off for some strange reason. Shooting there. Okay. Anyway, so that's the, uh, there's your Horde Knight from day seven. I think this is all over. I don't think there are any zombies remaining. Gotta kind of look around, but, uh, yeah, pick up our arrows and so forth. And then, uh, go around and do some repairs, but slip and slide base works. I think in the future what I'm going to do is make it four high. Obviously, I have room to do that here. And upgrade to concrete, then reinforce concrete and metal as the hordes go on. Obviously, 
I will need some sort of protection from above. But this place, this area right here would be perfect for that if I needed uh, some sort of cage over the top of me to defend against vultures. I'm not going to use... Oh, there's one more zombie. I'm not going to use um, metal wood rail... Or metal, metal wood? Wood railings. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use metal railings uh, until I absolutely need them and then I'll craft them. What happened there? He just gave up. Isn't it Horde Knight? Oh, it's because I'm sneaking. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Huh. You can, you can trick them. It doesn't matter. They don't... So he's just a random zombie that was running around. He's not a horde zombie. Oh, cool. So if you're sneaky, they don't know. They can't find you. Well, all right. Well, okay. Yeah. That's uh, seven days to build a horde base, and it was a very, very effective horde base. I think next time we'll do something a little smaller POI like Carl's books, and it'll just take less time and more time to go around and loot and break your leg and do those kinds of things. So there you have it. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Well, thank you all for watching this series. I really do uh, enjoy this game. I'm not sure how people, how well it's received in the channel, but... I'm enjoying this game tremendously, and I'm going to play it a lot and just keep going and hoping things change as the, and the game evolves as it goes along. If you want to see more of this, throw a comment down in the, uh, in the comments below, as well as a like, and I will happily post more. I'm not going to do any more of this particular POI because uh, most of the files didn't, didn't make it very well. I'm having trouble with corrupt files for some reason. I think it had to do with my, dri my video drivers being not updated as of December 10th, and that's screwing with everything. So, uh, But I will start a new series if people like this enough, and we'll go from there. So thank you all again for watching this series. This is Sturd signing off from 7 Days to Die.